All right, welcome back. Uh, we got three bottles we're gonna taste today, and special guest, uh, my lovely wife Amanda. So welcome. Hello. I know you're you've got some critiques and feedback, so thank you for being willing to to join today. But um, we thought that we would do a, a video today, kind of I guess really one of the first bourbon experiences we had together. Yeah. Uh, that I actually drank bourbon. That you actually drank bourbon yeah. that you liked. That I liked. That you, that you liked. Yeah. Because up until this point, I'd been sipping on it. I, I was very much a, a rookie. I didn't really know what I was getting into. And we went to Louisville for a weekend. Yeah. <clears throat> and Amanda's like, let's go to the Old Forester um, Distillery, mm -hmm. which is right downtown, and let's do a tour. Yeah. It was, it was cool. super good. It too. was so cool. Yeah. Really good. Just to really learn more about it and everything. And, and they're, I think they have a three story. Uh, copper still, still. Yeah. and then they they go through the whole tasting and amanda used to make the face the faces uh, uh which i might still make <laughs> which she still might make uh but she found mm -hmm. one and i believe it was this one the 1920 and it was stuff. paired with their um chocolate bourbon nougat know, candy that so stuff we actually good. went back to get some more candy. Of chocolate, so. <laughs> for the kids uh well worth it but old forester does a great great tour and uh, this is my, I think currently my top, my favorite bourbon is this 1920. So we're going to dive into that. But I got a And they have multiples. Oh, Let's not leave that one yet. So many. They have multiple so versions. They have an Different 80, years. They have an 8, 86 proof. So if you're new into bourbon, sometimes it's good to start with a lower proof. Uh, they have an 86 proof, which is very reasonable, very good. They have a 100 proof that's fantastic. And it's like 22, 23 bucks. Uh, they have 1870, 1910, and I'm, it I'm, goes on and it on. Goes on and on. This 1920 is going to set you about 55, 60 bucks, give or take, but it's a, it's a good bottle for the price point. And that was the first bourbon I was ever able to drink without making the face. So I don't remember if it was the same day, but it was definitely on that trip. We went to New Lou in Louisville. Do you remember that? Uh -huh. In the garage. And we went to the garage the bar and we ordered a flight of bourbons. And uh, I think there was four or five in the flight. I think that's before we went to Old Forester. I think it was too. Yeah. And uh, Amanda didn't like any of the whiskeys in the flight. And so I made him drink them all. Well, she said, don't, you don't have to drink it, honey. I'm, I'm like, like, if you don't like it, don't drink it. I'm like, no, you just paid money for this. this. I'm going to drink it. So <laughs> I drank it. And we did this a couple other times. And then we visited the rabbit hole. Same day, keep in mind. Distillery. I uh, never heard of it before. In Louisville as well. Um, I, oh, and we had scooters. We had little scooters we were getting around from point yeah, to point. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. after we left Rabbit Hole, the Rabbit Hole tour at that time, this was a few years ago. It was eh. And their product was okay. I haven't they had it since then. They were brand new, I think. I the think they were brand maybe. new too. So somebody asked me today how this tastes. You know, I don't remember. So this is going to be. Actually, Larry got us a bottle oh, of that did. when we were in Edisto. I think he got the rye. Uh, it was a blue label, I want to say. I think it say. was the rye. And it was gone. In two days. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but to continue the story, after we go through all these uh, samplings, drinking flights of bourbon and whiskey and a couple of distillery tours, we decided to get on those Lime scooters. And I with, have... With the bottles that he bought along the I way. I think I have four or five bottles. Four. I think four. four. Yeah. And we you were, two bags. Yeah. We were staying at the Marriott downtown. This is the first time we've ever rode a Lime scooter, too, yeah. is what you have to understand. And I probably shouldn't have been on a Lime, in uh, full confession, um, after the I fact. Have. No, I was fine. You, you were fine. I drank the bourbon. The bourbon. <laughs> you, just made the, you just made the face. You just and made the face and said, nope, had a beer instead. So we're, we're staying at the Marriott downtown, and I could see the, the hotel, and... I hit a bump. I'm going to ride, ride on the sidewalk. And this is classic for my husband. If he's ever driving yeah. down the road, whether it's on a bike, in a car, on a scooter, yeah. he will find the bump and hit it. He'll find the hole in the road and he will hit it. So I hit the bump and the bottle, like I'm trying to bags, keep out that the, 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 one of the bottles or the bags broke and the some handle, of the, bottle, the, the handle on the bag broke and the bottles fell, right? But he yeah. saved it. I saved it. And it was a rabbit hole bottle. I distinctly remember because yeah. it, it, right here on the shoulder, it busted a little. No, that hole. was the second time you dropped it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I gathered them up and then they slipped so out. So that made it. The bourbons <laughs> made it the first bump, right? And then here we go again, getting yeah. it. And but it busted a hole in this in this uh, um, shoulder of this bottle, and I'm like, <laughs> I am not pouring that out. So I got creative. There was a Starbucks in our hotel. And you know those boxes that they sell coffee in? Well, I got like the big ones, like that you take to like an office yeah. event or something. 
So I asked for an empty, no coffee, never had any coffee in it, box. They looked at me a little strange, but I poured my bourbon out of the busted bottle. So he could save it. So and then he it. drank it. And I was terrified he was going <laughs> to drink glass shards or something like that. But now here he is still yeah, here I am. standing. All right. Yeah. So uh, let's do a little bit of tasting. So right. you'll notice something different today between my glass and her glass. Um, she's not really a neat uh, bourbon drinker. She likes it usually cut with a little bit of ice and sometimes a little bit of water. And or so, a lot of water. Which, you know, if you cut your bourbon with some ice and water. I'll you get know, drunk you can, slower. <laughs> go and go and go. <laughs> so this first one, we're going to do the, the rabbit hole. And this is Cave Hill Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. I didn't bring my eyeballs, but I, I think that this says a four, a four grain, grain small batch. Small batch, which again, small batch. Every distillery kind of defines what's small to them. So it what's says, the grain bill? Uh seventy percent corn, ten percent malted wheat, ten percent malted barley, and ten percent honey malted barley. Hmm. I have a feeling you're gonna like this one. I actually this might like that one. So we're gonna do this sampling. So uh cost on this, I think this was about seventy some bucks or so. So there's your glass. See on, on the notes to me, I gotta Yours might be a little bit different because you got the eyes, but I smell a lot of ethanol in mine. Ethanol, yeah. It's strong, does. right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, that's that's good. Mm. That's really good. That's really good. Very cinnamony. Like that first that's taste. The first is... thing I taste is cinnamon, like it's burning. And I have ice. Are you hitting cinnamon really heavy too? I got toffee at the beginning. If you're trying it without it, just, just take a little sip of that. You can try it with that. Ooh, yours does have a lot more cinnamon with the ice and water. It's a completely different yeah, taste. Yeah, that's different. Completely different yours taste. Yours is sweeter. That is super cinnamon, spicy. Yeah, this is neat. It's got, I would say, I, had, I got like a buttery toffee on the front end, real yeah. sweet. It's got nice legs. I don't know if you call them legs. Nice. I think so. With bourbon, but that's good. Little drips on the side of the glass. All right. Ooh. Do you need a rinse? I'm warm. Nope. All I'm right. good. I'm naturally warm. All I right. think a bourbon makes me even warmer. So the next one, I got to cheat because the, gonna be the bottle doesn't the tell me this. Ofo 1920 Prohibition style. Uh, the grain bill on this one: 72% corn, 18% rye, and 10% malted barley. Um, for me, this, this brings the heat and I like it. Oh gosh. So, um, <laughs> we'll give this a little bit of, of a taste. Again, about 60 bucks, give or take. Uh, you can usually find this most places, at least here in central Indiana, but for $60, I think that's one of the, the better bourbons at that price point for sure. And again, it's my current favorite. It smells sweet, but it doesn't smell like cinnamon. Mmm, so good. I don't know what the flavors are except delicious. See, to me on the, the nose, I get a little bit more corn in this one. Yeah, this. maybe it's a corn smell. That's I would why say it's, it's like a sweet corn almost. Mm -hmm. But to me, you know, that rye hits you too because that's where the, I think the heat comes from. I mean, I it warms you up. It's and that one here. Swap yeah. again. All right, and then you do All that. Right. Man, it changes. So, so much, much more. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> like there's a lot of flavor in there and not so much in that. That's why it was a little, it was. Yeah, this water, was, the ice and water, I think really watered that down one down a lot. So it changed the profile, the taste profile. And yeah, that one, it just watered this one. This down. one, it made the ice and water made more cinnamon. of a cinnamon uh, versus the meat was more like a cinnamon stick, buttery toffee. And I would say the, the, this neat, there's a corn, a sweet corn with some spice, like the rye. And it just um, waters it down with then, the ice. Yeah, Doesn't yeah, really change totally. the profile. Um, so uh, definitely good. I, I'm going to buy this over and over again. Every yeah, time it's, it's really it's, good. It's really good. And that one's kind of a little challenging to find in some of the liquor stores, the 1920. Um, it's, no? I think lately it's been like almost every place I go is there. So okay. Right now. It Never used mind, to be, I take it back. It, it used to be hard to find, but lately it's like, but bourbon's so weird. It depends on where you go. It depends on where you live to what you can find. All right, so our third tasting today, uh, this is a, a Larceny Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, small batch, 92 proof. Oh, I don't think I said the proof on this. And this is the, the uh, Old Forester's 115, and our rabbit hole is a 95 proof. So the proof is higher in here, so you're going to get a little bit more heat from that. 
I don't know if it says the mash bill on this one. It does not. not. Um, I know this is a weeded bourbon. I could look it up, but I don't want to annoy and waste anybody's yeah. time doing that. But I know this is a higher wheat content. Um, this is, I believe, this is still the case. This is your favorite, right? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty affordable. And in this one, Larceny is like a, a daily drinker, I guess. Yeah, is that the, I would say that's true. I don't drink it daily, but if I were, that would be my go-to. This, this would be my go-to. Yeah. You know, surprisingly, Larceny used to be like, 22 23 bucks yeah. lately i've been seeing it's like upper 20s low 30s so yeah yeah still way cheaper than any of your bourbon that's true and they have a single <laughs> they have some single barrels i want to try to get my hands on at some point so tell me it doesn't special. have great flavor though oh it's it's a it's a great sipper for sure mm. Mm. perfect it's so smooth if y'all have not had larceny and you're just getting into bourbon drinking, this is the one to kind of really yeah, I totally agree. start I mean, with. If you're new to bourbon, I mean, this is, again, 92 proof. Um, it's a, it's, it's, it's so smooth. I mean, neat, it's smooth. I mean, I don't, I don't drink it neat very often. No. My palate isn't as sophisticated as yours when it comes to bourbon. And I think that's why I like the larceny. We start getting in the more expensive bottles well, and it's like, Bernie, what? I mean, I, I always hear these people taste the bourbons and like, oh, I taste the tobacco note. I it's actually taste, moss. I actually taste the tobacco note. Oh my god, maybe that's why I like it. Maybe I don't know. It's so weird. It does, yeah. There's a little bit of it there. But it's smooth. This this one's smooth front to back. It very is. very easy finish. A great um, starter bourbon, I would say. Great starter bourbon, but even if you are already into the bourbon scene, I mean. There's nothing wrong with drinking larceny at all, ever. Yeah. Ever. So, I love it with water and ice, personally, yeah. but it, it actually tasted pretty okay. Neat. It's funny, because all three of these, tasting it neat, obviously, it tastes, I mean, Captain Obvious tastes completely different, yeah. but just stronger and more but, flavorful. But there's little tricks you can do. I mean, drinking a bourbon neat, I think, is difficult if you're trying to get into bourbon, I think. Who would ever do that? And that's what they taught me at Old Forester when we were yeah. doing that distillery tour, they are the ones that taught us to like hit it with a little bit of water. Yeah. They had these little droppers. And so they went through the whole tour and the whole tasting and that really helped. And we actually had this really funny couple, a uh, nice couple sitting next to us. And they were talking about um, getting this little book, which we actually ended up buying a book and it was full of bourbon recipes. Mm -hmm. And the wife was telling me that's how she got into drinking bourbon by making like drinks with bourbon in it first until she slowly got rid of the sweet stuff and just mm -hmm. kind of stu stuck with the bourbon. And that actually was really helpful. We still have the book somewhere. We do. I'm not sure where it is. We do. Yeah, this is so good. I'm, I'm surprised by this. You are? I'm really surprised by that. Okay. Well, we were like um, that distillery when we, I want to say they were fairly new like I want to yeah, say there was still okay. construction going on yeah and we ordered a flight uh, there of their um bourbon which mister also mm -hmm. drank all of that so I we did. went to garage and then we went there so yeah. like two so if sorry. you're looking, if you're looking for a fun, <laughs> if you're looking for a fun getaway uh, a nice little bourbon adventure I mean of course you can do the, the whole bourbon trail we've done you know bits and pieces Parts. here and there yeah um, but you know, staying in New Lou, which is uh, you know on the downtown area of, of Louisville, some great restaurants, some great bars. Yeah, we One, love Louisville. Frankfurt, and it's so close. Lexington, all those yeah. little towns. They, they, you're not, you can't miss. And all the restaurants and bars that you go to in those areas, they're going to have chances are they're going to have their own private bur bourbon barrel. collection and their own barrel, yeah. and this and that. And we whatever. did notice that. That's a, another a lot, really good point. A lot. These different bars that we went to, they had their own custom barrel that was made for yeah. them. So that yeah. was kind of cool. It is definitely cool. So definitely worth the experience, but definitely hit the the, the tour at Old Forest. It's great. It is a great experience. So, there's another, uh, right? It was Evan Williams that's right there. Evan Williams there's is right there. There's a tour, uh, Angels and V. There's also a, another tour. So there's a, quite a few if you want to like make it the whole weekend all yeah. about bourbon. You can do it. Ours was one day we were making about bourbon. Um, and then we went to some museums and some yeah. other things, but yeah, great time. Was a good All right, so would you drink this again? Mm -hmm. On, um, I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> I mean, on me, that's so good. It's so cinnamony. It's so What's strange because me, it doesn't. I don't hardly get any cinnamon at all. It's so weird. You know when you like make a, a punch or whatever, and you have the cinnamon yeah. stick. It literally, it, yeah, tastes like I lick the cinnamon well, stick. 
I'd buy yes, this I would. I would taste that again. I'd buy this again. again. You already know my, our I feeling like on this, one. and you already know our feelings so on this. So we like all of them. So we like all of them. Yeah. So let us know if you had these. Yeah. You like them. Uh, Give us some feedback. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe. We'll do this from time to time. Uh, maybe we can get Amanda back as a guest on the show. Um, leave a comment if you like her as an addition to the show. Oh, so. my God. <laughs> Everybody should leave a comment. No way. No, uh, Get yeah, rid they're, of her. They're going to do the exact opposite. Yeah. So anyway, thank you all. I appreciate you listening to us drink a little bit of bourbon and talk about it. So have a good day. Bye, guys.